Hello, my loves. Welcome to your collective reading. For those of you who do not know what a collective reading is, it's just basically a reading that is meant for a certain group of people, um, regardless of your zodiac sign. These readings are timeless, so whenever you run across the reading is when you're guided to see it. Um, if you should find that this reading does not resonate with you, in the description box below, you will find uh, my playlist of timeless collective readings. You can check that out and see if there's something that resonates with you a little bit better, okay? Um, I hope everybody is happy, safe, healthy, and doing well. Let's go ahead and get shuffled up. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have today for the collective, please, Spirit? Clarity, guidance, and love messages for the collective, please. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, love messages, clarity, advice for the collective, please, Spirit. All right, my loves, please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post, okay? So let's get started. So we have the Seven of Swords. And we have the Ace of Wands. We have the Emperor, Aries, Taurus energy. And we have the King of Wands, strong Aries here. So guys, we have one person here that uh, is lying, cheating, being deceptive. This person talks to new people all the time. And we have another person here that is confidently taking control of the situation. Okay. We've got one person here that, you know, it's like a, almost like a pathological liar. I'm feeling like everything that they say is a lie. They're being deceptive in some way, shape or form. This person definitely, uh, you know, that ace of wands is a very phallic card. Uh, they may have multiple sexual encounters. We have the five of cups here, but they are regretting it. They are definitely regretting it. We've got the strength card. Leo energy. This person is currently in a place where they wish they would not have acted that way. They wish they would not have lied. They wish they would not have slept with that person or, you know, talk to other people. We have the four of wands here. So this person here, this person here seems to be very stable, very stable. Uh, maybe this person owns a business. This person is very confident, very good looking, very charismatic. Um, this person is just winning at life here. And with the four of pentacles, they're pulling back their money, their time, their energy. They're pulling it away from this person here. Okay. So this person may have been financially supporting this person, or they just brought a lot to the table, even if it was something as simple as stability, like being a rock to this person, because this person is really regretting screwing this person over. We have the eight of pentacles, the eight of pentacles. And we have the full Aries energy. So this person may start putting some work in, in trying to, um, start a new beginning with this person here. So let's see, we have the hermit Virgo energy, or maybe it's hard for this person to move on because this person here has withdrawn their energy completely. We have the sun Leo energy. What's happening here is the more this person withdraws their energy, the more they come to realize that this person here was really toxic. I'm feeling okay or the more they withdraw their energy, this emperor here is starting to realize that they are simply happier without this chaos over here. You know what I'm saying? Someone here is starting to really realize how bad the relationship is. Like, you know, when you're in a bad situation and, um, you know, you don't really, really realize how bad it is until you're alone and until you start to see that light, like the rose colored glasses start to come off type of thing. You know what I'm saying? We have the nine of pentacles. We've got Virgo energy, pre-empress energy. And we have the 10 of swords. 
someone here has lost a pre-empress and mind you the nine of pentacles is someone who's financially stable the nine of pentacles is somebody who um you know does well they're independent they don't need anybody do you understand what i'm saying so this person is very self-sufficient they do very well on their own okay they're very self-sufficient and with that ten of swords someone here has destroyed that someone here has destroyed um you know they've betrayed this pre-empress just way too much they've just you know too much betrayal too much pain um we have the king of cups cancer scorpio pisces energy and we have the page of cups cancer scorpio pisces energy so this person here may be getting an apology in, but that King of Cups is a very distant energy. Even if there's love here, this person is not showing it. Even if there's love here, guys, this person is not showing it. So I feel like this is your energy here. Even if you have love for this person right here, you are not going to show it because you're realizing here that they're toxic, that they are deceptive, okay? That they are deceptive. Um, the challenge here... Yeah, the challenge here, we've got the star Aquarian energy, okay? And we have the queen of wands, Leo, Sag, uh, Aries energy. The challenge here is that somebody here has a cheating problem. They're constantly looking for beautiful men, beautiful. Someone here is very uh, shallow is the word that I'm getting. Very shallow. Someone here has an addiction to either beautiful women or beautiful men, okay? So they have a wandering eye. Someone here cannot be faithful to one person. That is the challenge here. Someone here is just, and that, that is whether they are with you guys or with someone else. So now the outcome, we have the four of cups here, okay? And we have the nine of cups, okay? We have the nine of cups. So someone here, had their wish fulfillment okay they had their wish fulfillment and they lost it okay and with the four of cups and the nine of cups this could be someone who is also very selfish and now you know what i'm saying like they they you know they were taking cups but not giving anything back or they were not appreciating what they had so now they feel lonely they feel sad they feel rejected they want to come in with an offer but it's not being accepted this person doesn't know how to get their wish fulfillment back okay under the deck we have the ace of pentacles so this is an apology coming in this is also a new beginning happening here so i feel like this person here wants to come in and apologize and this person here um is off to a new beginning they're off to a new beginning all right so let's see what we have here spirit tell me about this seven of swords for the collective please oh that just popped out yeah the lover's card gemini energy someone here gives in to temptation do you see that snake on the side they give in to temptation they cannot help themselves they cannot help themselves tell me about this ace of wands the seven of pentacles this person gets distracted very easily they get distracted very easily and not only that the seven of pentacles talks about looking back at the past and realizing the mistakes that you've made this person has been doing this for a long time this person is like a, a pathological liar a chronic cheater um you know it's just it's just their MO. It's like what they do in relationships. And they're looking back at that with the five of cups and the judgment card. This person wants a second chance. They, they really regret what they have done with the strength card here and the two of swords. They wish that they were able to hold their lust back and make the right decisions. You see what I'm saying? But this person cannot contain themselves. Tell me about this ace of uh, the eight of pentacles, please. We have the two of wands. So this person has a vision about starting over with you and putting the work in and doing the right thing. They have this vision that if they were given another chance, they would take that leap of faith and try to commit. The problem is, is that they're watching you walk away. You know what I'm saying? They're watching you walk away and that chance is not, does not look like it's forthcoming. Do you understand? Nine of pentacles and the moon. Cancer, Piscean energy. A pre-empress is not going to stay in a situation where there are 
um, what ifs or secrets or the unknown. A pre-empress wants to create. A pre-empress wants to put work into something that she knows is going to lead somewhere. Do you understand what I'm saying? And there's just too much what ifs here. There's too many secrets. There's just too much. Ten of swords and the nine of cups. Someone's selfish energy has caused too much betrayal with that ten of swords. Too much betrayal here. Uh, tell me about this emperor. We have the star. Aquarian energy. So this emperor could be a doctor, could be a healer, could be um, a nurse, uh, a public figure. But this person definitely has maybe um, their own business. They're very wanted. They're very publicly, um, uh, they get public accolades. Like this person is very sought after in what they do. Tell me about the king of wands. And they are confident. They know that. They know that this wheel turns in their favor. They know that they're good at manifesting. They know that. Tell me about the four of wands the eight of pentacles this person has stable income they may have their own house they're very stable because they put the work into their life okay they work on it with the four of pentacles and the tower this person is no longer giving to this connection they're not they're holding back from this connection because they're realizing here that this this pre-empress it is realizing that they're building something on a very cracked foundation and this type of person here someone who's this successful someone who makes good decisions someone here that's this stable they don't waste their time on things that they know are going to come crashing down do you understand there's too there's too much confusion here there may be too many other people in the mix too many other options uh, or they're dealing with this person here that's confused and with the hermit they just pulled back we've got um the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. This person may be going off of their intuition and saying that it's time to pull back or they're pulling back their love, their kindness, their generosity. Tell me about the sun. The four of pentacles yeah this person has been enlightened they're realizing here that it's time to pull back um yeah it's it's time to pull back tell me about the king of cups now look we have a true pair on the board we have the king to the queen of cups so this could be a beautiful connection could be a soulmate connection the problem is somebody here just doesn't know how to act but we do have a lot of communication coming in we we do have this person here wanting to chase page of cups and the ace of wands i feel like this person is coming in offering a new beginning offering to start something new here um but i don't see this person really taking it because this person is very deceptive okay very deceptive tell me about the star we have the nine of wands tell me about the queen of wands we have the page of cups cancer scorpio pisces energy this person has to stop looking at third parties like every time this person sees someone who is good looking they have to talk to them do you see what I'm saying? Like if somebody flirts with them or this person, the challenge here is that this person doesn't know how to stay away from the opposite type of sex. Tell me about the four of cups. Yeah. This king of cups here, cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Um, they're, it's, they're not accepting the offer. The nine of cups and the world card. Someone's selfish energy here. Um, either that cycle needs to end because the world card could talk about cycles ending or it could talk about the actual relationship ending. Okay. Um, so with the Ten of Swords and the Nine of Cups, and then the Nine of Cups and the World card, this person is realizing that they cannot keep going through life and going through one relationship after the next with this behavior. Do you understand? They can't just go and if they see something shiny and pretty and go and touch it. No, this person has to understand what commitment really is, especially since this person doesn't really seem to bring much to the table. We've got someone here that's on such a higher level. This person, I feel, makes more money. They're just more more successful more accolades than this person here do you understand so i mean so not only are you coming into the relationship with less than you know what i'm saying but you know you're just this person is completely non-committal and i'm talking like pathological liar like someone here has reached a point where you just can't believe that's why this moon card on top of this um you know pre-empress energy here it's like this person just cannot believe anything that is being said like nothing, you know what I'm saying? And that's, that's not a fun energy. You can't have a relationship like that, you know? Um, 
so I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Divine guidance just popped out. I'm not sure if I see. I don't really see a final ending here. I see an apology coming in and somebody realizing that a behavior pattern has to stop. We've got manifestation here. So, you know, we have this, this person here, pre-empress, emperor energy, the wheel of fortune. Someone here knows how to manifest. Someone here knows how to, um, build in life and you know this energy right here that energy of um of this person here they live in a place where it's like going to stop this person from manifesting it's going to block this person from manifesting and you have to understand this energy here is not going to deal with that do you understand they'll pull back because this person makes intelligent decisions this person here they're not going to let anything stand in their way so you see the world card here we've got manifestation in the world so we've got cycles closing out because this person is manifesting okay that wheel of fortune if you're in a love rating and someone is unhappy this wheel will start to turn in this emperor's favor it will cause emotional upheaval so if this person is manifesting stability like they're working on the four of wands they're working on having a home a family building a life you know and this energy here this seven of swords player let me you know sleep with everything that has a heartbeat energy doesn't really coincide with this person's dreams so what's happening here is the divine is literally shutting this chapter out because it doesn't coincide with what this person is manifesting and make no mistake this person knows how to manifest okay so this goes farther this goes farther than just the 3d this is you know what i'm saying the the divine trying to give this person here what they're manifesting and this person here is trying to block it okay we've got worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life so the way spirit sees it is you know you've waited long enough for this person to get their shit together they have not and now you have to put yourself first because we have blessings that we want to give to you you've waited long enough for this this person to get it together you know what I'm saying you really have you've given enough to this connection now it's time to move on because we have bigger and better things for you here look at the bigger picture so you see even though it sucks in the moment guys even though it sucks in the moment you know losing this person or having to deal with the breakup or having to deal with the heartache you know what i'm saying having to pull back from somebody that you love or having to accept the fact that this person is no good spirit is saying you've you've waited long enough look at the bigger picture we have so much more that we want to give to you um you know you've got so many more blessings coming your way you know shut out this cycle now again the cycle that could shut out could be that this person gets their shit together okay we have discovery here this person may be waking up to the fact that their behavioral pattern needs to change because i don't feel like this is just happening with you i feel like this person has been doing this ongoing for a very very long time a very long time guys this person has been this way their whole life we have self-worth this person may have confidence issues and that's why they act this way um but either way, I feel you're realizing your self-worth. You're realizing that you don't deserve to be treated this way. You know what I'm saying? That you give, you have so much that you bring to the table and you really just don't deserve to be treated that way. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's not fair to you with everything that you're bringing to the table, with everything that you do for this person, because I do feel that someone here has a lot more than this person does. Even if you don't have a ton of money in the bank, but maybe you have a car and they don't, maybe you have a place to live and they don't, maybe you just have a better attitude than them. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, but you have something that this person doesn't have. Maybe you just have the ability to manifest and you've been waiting on this long enough and it's, it's blocking your blessings here. Okay. Spirit, tell me about this emperor. Renewal. Yeah, this emperor is ready to leave. This emperor is ready to walk away and start something new here. But it hurts. You know, that's the bottom line, guys. It hurts. Starting over again hurts. It does. This person will do it because they're an emperor. They will pull back. They will, you know, isolate themselves from this situation. But it doesn't make it, it doesn't mean that it's easy. Do you see what I'm saying? It doesn't mean that it's easy for this emperor to take control of their life and do, you know, doing what's right sucks sometimes. Tell me about the seven of swords energy, insecurity, and there's that self-worth issue. I feel like this person cheats, lies, steals because they have insecurity issues that stem 
probably from childhood okay probably from childhood we have gratitude here it doesn't mean that they're not thankful for what you do for them they just have a problem showing it okay i feel prayer here i feel like this person prayed for you they are thankful that they have you in their life but they're not doing a very good job at showing it because i feel like they're insecure that they're going to ever keep you okay maybe they just feel like they're not worthy of you that's really what I'm getting here, possibly, okay? But I feel like it's not just you guys. I mean, maybe you because you make a little bit more or you're a little bit more than what they've had before, right? But I feel that this person, whoever they're with, there's this sense of insecurity, like they feel like no one will stay with them, you know, that other people will cheat on them. So they jump the gun and they do it first. Do you see what I'm saying? They jump the gun and do it first. They are thankful because they prayed for you. They manifest you. You're here. <coughs> but at the same time, with that insecurity card, they're not sure that you're going to stay. So what they do is they go ahead, they jump the gun, and they just go ahead and cheat first. So that, you know, they're the ones that, like, they're going to sabotage the connection before you leave them. Okay? This is something that needs to stop. Or the relationship is over. So it hurts you to stay away from this person. But with renewal here, something needs to change. Either with the world card here twice, this person gets their shit together. Okay. And, you know, changes with that ace of pentacles. And we have renewal and we can start over. Or you guys have to just, you know what I'm saying? Like this person needs to have faith. This person needs to have faith that you're there, that you love them, that you're not going anywhere. This person needs to have confidence, okay, in the connection to do right by you. Instead, this person just, you know, pursues lower vibrational things. They pursue their lust. They pursue other things instead of focusing, like you're focusing on real big boy stuff, big girl stuff, you understand? And this person is focusing on insecurities and lower vibrational things, you know, and it's too imbalanced. So, you know, one way or another here, even though it hurts you, you're an emperor, you will deal with it. Even if it hurts you, you will make decisions that are right for your life. Okay. So let's take this into an extended because I'm not really seeing a 100% an ending here. We have the nine of cups and the 10 of swords. This could just be that, you know, this selfish energy causes a lot of pain to the people around this person and they know it needs to stop. So let's see if this person is going to change let's see if they're going to do some inner work here on these security issues let's see if they're going to change so that they can have a healthy relationship with you let's see what will happen if you guys reconcile and then let's see what messages the divine has for you okay the link for the extended will be in the description box below and in the comment section below i love you guys bye